I absolutely love raising baby chicks. I would never tell somebody not to raise baby chicks in a brooder because it's so much fun. But there is no denying that when baby chicks are raised by a mother hen, they are generally more resilient, they're healthier, and they just get along better than chickens that are raised in a brooder under artificial conditions. This is in spite of all of the things that they are introduced to at a very young age in their environment, including like viruses, bacteria, fungi, all that stuff. So why is that? <laughs> Hey guys, welcome to Chickenlandia. I am a backyard chicken educator here in the Pacific Northwest, but you can call me the president of Chickenlandia. In the chicken world, there is this tiny parasitic protozoan called coccidia. And every chicken yard, more than likely, will have at least one strain of coccidia that the chickens living in that yard have developed immunity to over time. They developed it by just being gradually exposed to a small amount of the coccidia and it didn't get a chance to like really overwhelm their bodies creating disease. So does this mean that baby chicks raised by a mother hen will never get sick? Of course, it does not mean that because we live in the world and in the world there's this thing called nature and it can be very unpredictable at times and nothing is guaranteed but in general if their humans have good husbandry practices meaning that there's not overcrowding going on there's not like dirty muddy conditions going on the chickens aren't stressed out they have good nutrition then generally they have a really good chance of gaining natural immunity and being very resilient in the long run so because I think it's good for baby chicks to get that gradual exposure, I do recommend taking your baby chicks outside after they're about two weeks old, even earlier if the weather permits, if it's nice and warm outside. Take them outside, stay with them so that they will be safe and you can be their mother hen. You can watch over them in case they get stressed out or they get too cold, you can bring them back inside. But when you do that, you are exposing them to their outside environment in a gradual way, in a gentle way, and they can get that natural exposure through you that they would normally get through a mother hen. And I think ultimately that would be very good for them. Now you have to keep them safe. You can't just throw them outside with your existing flock because older chickens will attack baby chicks if they're not raising them themselves. So make sure to keep them safe. Like what I do is I will put them outside on the grass and then put like a little guinea pig a cage top over them and I'll sit there and watch them and they love it. They will like peck and scratch and be baby chicks and do all the things that baby chicks are supposed to do when they're raised naturally. Don't mess with my camera too. So when a baby chick or a chicken's digestive tract gets overwhelmed by this protozoa called coccidia, it creates a disease condition called coccidiosis. And coccidiosis can be really awful for adult chickens or baby chicks, but it mostly affects baby chicks. You know, like let's say you have a little flock of baby chicks and they've been compromised in some other way like maybe they had a really stressful experience going through the mail or being in the farm store maybe they were kept before they got to you in conditions that weren't great like let's say you know conditions where the feces was really built up or it was really muddy um, these are the kinds of conditions where coccidia can really flourish and get to a level that would cause disease in within especially a little baby flock. Coccidiosis can also affect adult birds and usually that happens when you introduce a new bird or birds into a flock that maybe the existing flock is immune to the coccidia that is present in their environment but this new flock brings in a strain of coccidia that they're not immune to or vice versa and so that is usually when adult chickens can become infected with coccidiosis that and it, you know if they're stressed out if they live in bad conditions 
If they're not getting the proper nutrition, then they're especially vulnerable to this disease. So you can tell that a baby chick or a chicken is infected with coccidiosis by observing uh, their behavior and how they look. Usually they're like puffed up, they're like kind of hunched over, um, they're really lethargic, they might be listless, but the main telltale symptom, and it doesn't always happen, but when it does happen, you know that there's probably coccidiosis going on, is if they have blood in their stool. And at that point, um, it's a very serious situation. Even with treatment, you're probably gonna lose some birds, but maybe not, you never know. So most of you guys know that I am very natural leaning when it comes to taking care of chickens. I really like natural products, herbs, homeopathics, all that stuff. But when it comes to something as serious as coccidiosis, it's so contagious and it can move through a flock so fast that I do suggest that you go ahead and get the medication for it. It's called Amprolium. That's what is used the most. It's a fairly safe medication. There's no egg withdrawal, meaning you can still eat their eggs if you're treating your flock with Amprolium. The way that Amprolium works is kind of clever. It is a thiamine mimicker. So coccidia needs thiamine in order to multiply. When you introduce Amprolium into a chicken's body, the coccidia will consume the Amprolium thinking that it is thiamine. And so they can't, they can't survive doing that. They can't reproduce. And so they will die off. And that is how you would treat your chickens. And event, you know, hopefully they will get better after a course of amprolium or corid. And make sure that you do the full course and just follow the directions on the bottle. So even though amprolium has been around for a long time and it is considered generally safe, there is one problem with it. And that is that chickens also need the vitamin thiamine in order to survive. Thiamine is called the stress vitamin, so it will really help to regulate your chicken's stress levels, among other things. They need it, it's an important nutrient for them. So once you have finished your course of Corid, I do want you to go out, if you can, if you can afford it, go out and get yourself some good chicken vitamins, vitamins especially for chickens, that have thiamine as a top ingredient and give your chickens a two week course of that vitamin supplement. Now, if you can't get access to vitamins or if you can't afford it, you can use brewer's yeast. Just give them a sprinkle of that for a couple of weeks in their feed or you can use um, nutritional yeast as well. But definitely you want to replenish those reserves of thiamine because that is really important for your chicken's health and they can end up with other problems if they don't get enough thiamine in their diet. If you don't have access to chicken vitamins, if you don't have access to uh, brewer's yeast or nutritional yeast, then look and see what foods you're eating in your kitchen and find out which ones are high in thiamine. And if they're safe for chickens, feed those scraps to your chickens. We're just gonna, you know, it's all about just doing the best you can. That's where I'm coming from. Now, if you find that you have a baby chick that is really struggling, maybe it's coccidiosis, maybe it's something else, but you really wanna help them survive, I do have a video all about what you can do for baby chicks that are really struggling. Just click right here. It's 100% friendly backyard chickens, education and entertainment. And I know you're gonna love it.